January 2nd, 2019. A new year begins. Tonight I'm using black and white from 1839 for a reason. In 20 years, photography will be about 200 years old. Actually around mm, eight, nine years it'll be that way. Uh, it was 1826 or seven that the first photos were ever taken. So tonight I'm kind of doing a tribute to black and white photography a little bit, thinking back to 1839 and the idea that taking pictures with the camera has only been around a little under 200 years. Just remembering that we're still figuring it out on so many levels. Um, digital imagery, technology in general, has changed so many things that most people would not even begin to think about knowing how to develop film or what it took back in the day to make a derogotype and uh, polish a steel plate to make it occur. And, uh, you know, a derogotype artist would spend a whole day on one picture, on one photo. So today, you know, I'm probably the best way to look at this is how film people look at digital people as far as movies are going. And then you would look at, you know, derogatory people, how they would look at uh, film people in a way. Because <laughs> it's just one image takes you all day to complete it. It shows us once again the clock and time, the importance of time for our world, that we be on time, that we get to where we need to be. But the key is we got to know what we're doing when we get there. And how does that work? Well, it doesn't a lot of the time. What I see today, uh, to think about it more than anything, is people in positions where they think they know their job, but they really don't. And it shows when they try to tell you what you have to do as a customer. And I think back to a simpler time that'll never come back now, when people actually took the time to make one photograph and be happy with that for the day. It was still real art. And no, I don't think we should have to go back and develop film. I like being able to snap off digital photos. It's awesome, that's a wonderful way. But we need to remember from where we came. And today in our world, we have so many people whose perceptions are judging things by looks, by what they perceive to be real, whether it is or not, and putting their own being on other people's lives because they perceive it that way. And this is where we get hatred. This is where we get enemies. This is where we have anger in society, people not liking people, um, people demanding that they be treated this way or that way in public as if any of us had a choice growing up or have ever had a choice. I don't realize, remember, I don't think I've ever had a choice to determine how people treat me in life. But today we have lots of rules and, and uh, things to follow supposedly in society where people treat people with the utmost respect, right? Until somebody shoots somebody at Walmart and then it's a little bit different. I prefer to walk around like a crazy man the way I am the whole time. It makes it easier, I don't have to conform. Mm. So you find yourself somewhere between crazy and normal and you continue to go on through with the game. The ants are marching. We're part of it. We're ants, no doubt. But you don't want to be a stupid ant. You don't want to be a member of the herd or a member of the group. You don't want to be a person that relies on technology that doesn't understand what a derogatype is or that taking pictures has only been around for about 200 years, not quite yet. You wanna realize this as we go through. No, I don't want you to go out and be a derogative artist, although you'll make good money. It'll take you all day to make one photo. I hope you got really good ideas to take those pictures of. But nonetheless, the reflection involved in a job like that it might make you sit down and wanna whittle. You know, that's where you get like a piece of wood and a pocket knife and carve it into something so to speak. Balsa wood looks real good for that if you don't cut your finger off. So what does it all mean? As I always say, it is what it becomes. Reflection in work 
breeds reflection in life. We hope that our jobs are as detailed as the derogatype artists, but perceptions tell us it's a frantic world where the more is better, materialism rules over spirit, and it'll be an ongoing struggle to remind people in another 50, even 100 years, especially, what a derogatype photo was from 1826 or seven, and how it's evolved in just 200 years, not unlike our country itself, still evolving, still developing. I wish everybody peace this new year. Take care. Rock and roll.